when you watch farming on television, it's covered in one of two ways. Either look at this awful American industrial unit where they breed cows that never see the light of day and they don't eat grass and so on and so forth. Isn't that terrible? Or it's Kate Humble in, on, on a bed of fresh straw with a newly born lamb. <laughs> Jamie Clarkson. Well, Morning, Chris. Hey. Now, Morning. It says here on my notes, Clarkson is not a farmer, but he bought the 1,000-acre farm in the Cotswolds wow, wow, in 2008. Wow. And then the farmer basically goes, I'm not doing it anymore, I'm off. So Jeremy says, that's fine, I'll just take over. and uh, Leave it to me. I'll film it so the world can see what a natural talent I am at farming. That's pretty much <laughs> it, right? Broadly speaking, yeah. And I really did think, you know, mankind has been farming for 12,000 years now. It must be in our DNA. But it, it turns out it isn't in mine. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime anybody ever bought me a plant or a tree, it always dies. You know, either overwater it or underwater it or I put it in the wrong part of the room. So I don't really understand plants. And I never really thought, hang on, if I can't look after a geranium, how am I going to grow a thousand acres of crops without giving too much away in episode one he acquires some vehicles for the farm that's right and i don't even know w what they are what they do nothing. i didn't know i was buying them and i didn't know what they did they all just look, look like something that you, you'd use to cut your arm off <laughs> or bits of farming equipment you just think well if i fell in that that's the most uncomfortable way of going through the pearly gates i could possibly imagine it's it's an incredibly expensive thing to do. I mean, I think I had to spend a quarter of a million pounds just to get the stuff I needed, the fertilizer and the seed and the equipment. And so it was, and you really think, God, this had better grow. And now when it's raining, you just think, well, I can't put any of the stuff in the ground. I can't plant it. And it's all just rotting. Obviously, I'm from Yorkshire. So, so every, everything that costs more than eight pounds, I think I'm being ripped off. You know, I can buy a watch for eight pounds and a pair of trousers for eight pounds, a pair of shoes for eight pounds. So everything in my mind is eight pounds. You can even buy a car for eight pounds if you shovel, shop, shop around enough. And I, I always think, oh, that's too much. It's too much. And I get in a panic and have palpitations. And so um, farming really wasn't ideal for me because I can't grow things and I don't like spending money. Whereas in farming, you're always at the bottom of a hill and whatever needs doing is always at the top of a hill, always. And then when you get to the top of the hill, what needs doing is very hard work. It's knocking a fence post in. I know it sounds simple, that, but it's so... What they use is prehistoric to do. You just bash it in with a sort of circular hammer. And it, the hammer weighs more than I do. And, it, and you stand there bashing these fence posts. You think, I've got 30 of these to do. Then I've got to get the hammers and nails and not the cross members. And it's just... And then I'll just end up with a fence... It's not like I've built a spaceship or a dustbin lorry or anything useful. I've just built a fence and it's taken me three days. I mean, I'm missing now. I'm burying holes in the ground. And it's just I'm digging a hole with a spade in the ground. It's how Monty Don makes it look easy and it isn't. Nothing is easy in farming and it hurts your muscles. But you bought... But here's the thing. You didn't buy a farm... You bought a 1,000-acre farm. When you watch farming on television, it's covered in one of two ways. Either look at this awful American industrial unit where they breed cows that never see the light of day and they don't eat grass and so on and so forth. Isn't that terrible? Or it's Kate Humble in, on, on a bed of fresh straw with a newly born lamb. <laughs> in two ways. Now, the reality of farming is the most far. I mean, mine's a sort of medium-sized farm as farms go. It's a proper farm, a thousand acres, you know, it's, it's a proper farm. Um, it, it, you actually see in this pro, programme what farming actually is. I mean, yes, we do have some sheep, but it's mostly wheat, barley and, and oil seed rape. Tell me how big a thousand acre farms is if I'm walking through the farm. Well, I, I, walked, I did a perimeter walk um, last summer, you know, during lockdown. There was nothing else to do, so I walked to the perimeter of it. And it took me, I sat up at 10 o'clock in the morning and I got back at 7 in the evening. Good God. Wow. So, nine hours to walk around it. Radio X. The Chris Moyle Show.